Alrighty guys, we are fucking here. It is time to get this video out. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly what I do to close these clients, right? Clients that have been closing um, a lot, like about a third plus minimum, more than a third of the clients literally got closed from this video. Like I didn't get on a call after they, they committed to this and I sent them the payment a lot of times. Maybe I got a little call to you know send the payment and stuff like that. But the point is they got closed from this. The what I'm about to show you in this video. All right. So uh, this video, the structure, I'll keep it very similar to my last video, the one that um, you know 1850 per month find the the video audit video, um, where uh, basically I'm going to be going through, like pretending that you're the client and I'm the SEO salesman. This way you can see exactly what I do and also kind of like you know understand the whole tonality and everything, whatever, you, you get the experience of exactly how I sell this, right? Um, and without further ado, let's let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna be throwing a lot at you guys and I'm gonna talk fast. I wanna, I wanna have some fun with this shit. I, wanna, I don't wanna be boring and shit, all right? I wanna make it kind of fun for me and just like fill it up with a lot of information, whatever comes to my mind. Okay, first things first, I don't record my screen when I send this. Okay, with the video audit, I send my screen, right? I see it's necessary a little bit, maybe, um, you know, first time I'm sending a video audit, um, kind of have some human interaction going on, okay, cool. But this one, they already trust me. They said that, yes, well, how much does this cost? What is it gonna take? What's the next step? Whatever they say, that signals to me that they would like to see what this is, um, you know, involves. And um, that's when I send this video, right? I just record the screen, that's it. Okay, it makes it a little easier to make this because you don't. I don't like to be standing for like the whole time I'm recording this video. It's pretty long, right? 15 minutes. 20 minutes sometimes i try to get in by 15 minutes like the video length itself to make it you're going to be spending about an hour to make this proposal that's this is why it's only for the people who are very interested right like very very interested they talk to you they, they saw your video they replied to you multiple times they want to see it you know they can afford it all that shit, right and then you're just taking the time an hour to sculpt this lethal message for them of how seriously you you know want to take them and a lot of them, like I close what over a third of my clients using this technique, and I think like several of them has mentioned that it's due to the effort. Like them seeing the effort you put, even before they're a client, plays a big part in getting this sale. So keep that in mind. <sighs> all right. That being said, the things that I would open up first, I open all the tabs first. I didn't do it today, so I might have to pause sometimes because I'm just you know kind of like open the main things I'm gonna be going through. Um, I didn't open all the tabs. Like for example, I usually have their email here, which I usually refer to. I just like to do that. Like, you know, I even start this video a lot of times with the last email I sent them. Hey Chris, you know, I would just watch your email. Just wanted to make a little video to show you exactly what the breakdown would be. I know you asked about the price, but before I give you a little price, I wanna show you exactly how this entire thing works. So take this time and watch this video. And, let's, and while I'm saying that intro, if they're looking at the email, just connecting the, you know, experience and holy, I, I do that sometimes. But um, yeah, so there's a few tabs that's missing, but obviously, you know, I can't like, I can't have that tab here. Well, you're not actually my client. So anyways, let's get into the actual thing. So the first thing I do is I kind of be like, all right, so Chris, just gonna recap real quick, whatever, you know, I showed you in the video. I don't use the word whatever, but you know, I tell them that I'm gonna recap what we showed in the video audit. And um, the way I do that is basically show them the main parts of the video audit, but in a, in, in a, in a, in a much more shortened way, right? So what that looks like is like this. <sighs> Fuck. I realized that getting into the mood to actually pretend that this is my client is kind of hard now. All right, let me, let me try to go to it. Hey, Chris, so as we talked last time, uh, so basically right now when you search for roofing in Denver, Colorado, you can see that, you know, other than the new platform that's opening up here, there's the people in the ads and the maps. And um, as I just broke down to you, that maps is the most important place you want to be. This is where the most of the calls are coming from. And at this moment, the top company here is Premium Roofing. So real quick to recap a little bit, um, we remember that they're getting over 3,700 people every single month from their search engine um, visibility. That's if you do the math, um, and then usually from a video audit, maybe you have a little math with them. I refer to that number. Can't really think of it in my head, whatever that it would be. But um, then I go like, and as you know, one of the main things that Google looks at before placing business to the top is backlinks. And we spoke about a little bit before, backlinks are one of the most important things you can have in your business. Um, and 
here's where I start to kind of also nail in some kind of the quality stuff where I'll mention some things at like, um, like, like, you know, the, 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 um, like in this video, I'm going to show you what our procedure is because it can be very detrimental for your campaign because if you do it wrong, this is one of the main, this is the, one of the parts where you can actually receive a penalty from Google, meaning they can actually take you off their platform completely. You want to kind of let them know that there's a possibility that they can't just like, you know, get the idea that, oh, backlinks, that's what I need. I'm going to just order something from, you know, like people can get ideas, right? So you want to let them know that if they just go get it from somewhere like bullshit, like Fiverr, there's a chance that they can get penalized, right? which is true. But then you want to let them know that so they don't get any, you know, it doesn't kind of lead them to thinking like that is the only thing they need or something, right? Just to throw in little things there. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of details that I'm going to try to throw out and um, probably going to miss a few details, to be honest, because as time passed, I refined this little script, more and more ways that I, I took stuff off, put stuff in. And um, I'm just going to try to, you know, uh, tell you guys the main things I remember. And that is one of them. Okay. Having some kind of idea, understanding that, yeah, there's a skill involved in doing this kind of like, you know, getting the backlinks, acquiring, you know, so this, this, this thing for their business. So they can't just like get it from anywhere. It's not a commodity uh, per se. All right. So then I kind of go, go over this part and, um, and then, you know, kind of like show them, all right, so right now we can see here and depending on some conversation, if they're a technical person after the video on it, if they mentioned anything about technical, anything about like some things about they had an SEO before, or maybe they got like, you know, anything about press releases. Sometimes, you know, business owners do press releases and stuff like that. If they do anything like that, then I would show a bit more on the technical side, right? So it's not that complicated. Don't freak out. Just understand if they, after the video audit, if they said anything about kind of more that showed that they are more of a technical thing, then you show a little bit more technical stuff. So I do that with Ahrefs, right? So you don't have to use Ahrefs. This is just, you can use Majestic, whatever you're using, right? So what I would do is basically have them pulled up. And last time in the video audit, I just showed them their traffic and stuff. So they already know that. You can touch on it a little bit too. Oh, and you know, right now, as you know, uh, where your top competitors are sitting at like three, 4,000 people every month, we are at like, you know, four people per month. So obviously, you know, the numbers are not correlating at all. And we'd like to, you know, raise this a lot. But to know where you're starting off in terms of your overall authority, then I do a basic explanation of domain authority. I'd be like, um, this is basically what Google considers your brand strength to be across, you know, into your entire website, right? Meaning that, um, you know, from, from the links you have, the traffic you get, everything together is weighed into one number. And then I say, right now, Premier has a brand strength of a 14, which is good because then I explain to them, it's not out of 100. And the examples I show, uh, I tell them is 100 is companies like, close to 100 is companies like Google and Apple, um, 70s and 80s are like, you know, things like Best Buy and Walmart. So for a local business, anything above a 10, to, or maybe about a 20 is very strong, right? 10 is a good position to be at and a good starting point. And we're now sitting at a 2.8. So just from even the branding standpoint, we're not gonna be taken seriously. Again, does this correlate directly? Not per se. It's not like, you know, if you have low DR, doesn't mean you're not gonna rank, you know, especially for lower cities, but you know, it is a good indication, right? Um, DA, DR is still a thing. I know a lot of people say it's like nothing to even look at, but it's still a thing, right? Um, uh, especially referring domains and stuff. Anyways, I'm not trying to tell you guys. This is what I tell the client, all right? If they are a little bit technical, I show them a little bit of technical and I kind of fill that with this, okay? Give them a bit more juice there, okay? A bit more substance. All right. Once I'm crossed this part, all right, guys, I have to open this up. So basically, this is, um, you know, like this is what I kind of touched on last time. And this I'm going to show you how I go through this when I'm um, actually doing this video, right? So I just, tr the transition is uh, like this. All right, Chris. So basically, you know, this is where the starting point is. And I want to show you what we're going to actually be doing to get you in the position we want you to be in. All right. So First things first, you know, this is a pretty, um, you know, it used to be a long list, but I've, um, you know, summarized down to about uh, from 30 to about seven to eight steps, whatever you guys are doing, you know, just let, like, I just let them know that it's not a big deal, nothing. It used to actually be very long. Like in the beginning, it used to actually be like 30 things that I show them because I thought that, you know, the more th things I show would have a say, but clearly not. They get email from India every day about they're going to, you know, give them the whole world and then ever buy. So it's not about the about it's not about the amount of shit you show. It's about like I guess you know a little bit about how you portray it, and them also knowing what the campaign is kind of about, right? So 
Then I get into on page. Now, again, I used to explain this shit actually in the beginning. It used to be insane. I don't think every, anybody ever watched those videos in the beginning when I was trying this, right? Um, but then what I say is like, look, in the beginning, we make sure that we take care of your website, okay? Meaning everything from your on page, your title tags, your descriptions, your meta tags, everything that Google can see is on your website has to be seen in a certain way in line with what is needed for you to rank, right? The right signals to Google. So we portray that to um, Google right from the beginning. This is something that's done in the first couple of weeks of the campaign. And we'll make sure this is, uh, even though it's considered one of the basic things, it's very important, all right? So I just say that. Then I even mentioned, hey, Chris, um, if you don't know, like, you know, I'm not gonna get into all of this, but if you have a question about any part of this, feel free to ask me and I'll elaborate further, right? And just let them know that. So move on. Google Maps SEO. So this is where most of the traction are calling, coming from, and you could this is probably considered the most important part of the campaign. I let them know that when it comes to Google Maps, it's not about just filling your profile and you know having more pictures and stuff like that. That's just the basics. But after that, we go very you know in depth with creating more networks that's only for you. And then I throw in a few things in here that um that I know some other agencies do, but they do it like more like a network base. So I let them know something like this. This is what I say exactly, all right? So just take it for what it is. Um, I let them know like, look, some of the stuff we do is very powerful, like networks of geographic relevancy uh, for your city specifically. Now, many agencies may do this kind of technique, but they power up or they do it for all their clients in that city for that city, right? So if, if, if you're a local agency, maybe you have like 20, 30 clients, they're all sharing this network. For your business, we actually have a different approach where we make it only for you. Now this works out because I only take one client per city, so it technically can only be for them, but I kind of let them know that, right? So it adds some more value. All right, next part, review generation. Chris, review generation is one of the biggest parts that's gonna play a role here, and this is where we need your help um, from your side. And, and, and this is one of the things where we actually need to work like a partner because we want to have at least one system in place. And this is where I try to nail it hard as I can with the review. I, I, right at the beginning, I really start pressing on this, especially if I don't see many reviews they have right now. I start really making sure that they understand that they have to start getting more reviews, that we start asking people. And if they're not collecting emails, they'll start having to collect emails so we can use some kind of way to reach out to their clients so they can start growing their reputation. because it makes my job easier, you know? Then if I can, once I can rank him, we can get more, um, um, what do you call it? Traction, right? If I can just get him for even a couple of keywords in, in the beginning phases, right? Let's say in like in the first two, three months even, then they all already start to get some leads compared to if they don't have any reviews, it's gonna be very hard for them to, um, I mean, if they don't have any reviews, I actually haven't seen get like calls. I don't think so. Like no reviews, I've never seen it get calls. Um, I don't think so. Maybe one or two, I'm not sure. But why even try to test that shit? All right, um, brand entity is pretty much same like how I explained in this last video. Um, this is where I open up their, their, their presence. So let's say we were doing this guy right here, um, like AAC Roofing, right? This is the company we're showing and we're pretending that they are AAC Roofing. Um, AAC Roof. Denver, Colorado, let's see if they come up. Um, what, what is their actual name of the company, man? All right, All Angles Club, got it. Cool, so here I just basically explained to them like, look, um, right now when people search you, and a lot of people come to this page right here, which is true, that even if people are, um, you know, doing offline advertising, even if they're, you know, you're just passing out flyers, people nowadays don't just look at the flyer and call, they see the flyer, they like what they see, then they search you or your business up on Google to see, you know, if, if you look like a reputable company, then they call, okay? This is what I tell them. We wanna make sure this part looks good. So right now, uh, you don't have a lot of reviews, but it's still a good start, and you have two platforms that are backing up here. We wanna make sure that the main platforms that you have reviews on is showing at the top here, and your page has a lot of reviews here so that they can, once they come to this page, there's no going back. They are gonna go forth with it and make the call. Chris, you don't wanna lose customers here because you probably spent a lot of money to get them to this page. It's the last place you want them to turn away and go to another company, all right? Ha ha ha, put a little joke in there. 
All right. And then with this, what I usually do is also open up their map, right? So this guy is in um, right here. I mean, I'll just open up Denver, right? God, can't type. Um, maps. And then this is where I say like, along with the work we're doing on your listing, we're going to be able to put a radius. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to be um, shown at the top for all, all these places um, uh, along with Denver. I mean, I forgot how I explained that, but basically I let them know like, it, for, for the radius, it doesn't right, right away, because a lot of times they think that radius means that they're going to be ranking all around the radius. I let them know, like, you know, it doesn't particularly mean that you're going to be ranking all here, but what we do is make pages for each of these big cities around your area so we can have some more relevancy for your website that you are targeting these cities as a, uh, as your service, right? You're servicing these cities, right? So this whole part is something we do anyways for most of our clients. So I explain it like this because there's an element of visual understanding, right? We want to keep this whole presentation as visual as possible. If they see maps, if they see charts of competitors, like the numbers high and green and them red and low, like, you know, like keeping an, uh, like, like, a, like a universal language of like visual things going along with all this like dumb text, it's, it's good. The more, the better. This text is just there because this is exactly what happens in the behind the campaign and for them to understand, um, you know, a little bit about the package. And, and I, I did mention last time that you guys should be showing what you actually do. It'll make your life a lot easier compared to trying to show them some kind of fluffy stuff that you don't actually, you know, do. And then later on, your reporting might be, you know, difficult and stuff like that. But I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, so this is how I explain that part before I get into the um, relevant links. Okay, and this part, I basically go, I mean, I don't read actually this. This is still in their email. I don't actually read it. But um, I just let them like, hey, look, one of the most important things that we talked about, probably um, a, a second most important part of the entire campaign after getting you in Google Maps is getting relevant name out there. It's not just about getting you in directories and stuff, but actually getting other blogs, um, uh, authoritative platforms about the industry, about roofing, about bathroom roofing, whatever your clients are, that has your name being published, right? So we have a network, all right? So if you have a PV network, just call it a network. We have a relationship with the network of sites that, um, you know, we have access to for our clients right from the beginning. Um, if you don't have a PVN network, then I don't know, you're probably doing some kind of links unless you chase. <laughs> I need to stop referring him. Um, then, you know, lastly, I let them know, like, these are just two, you, sometimes I don't even explain the YouTube part because it's just kind of like, we usually don't do much here unless they're actually active on it, which is like, two or three of my clients. So sometimes I don't even mention this part, but but I do mention the press releases. Hey, look, um, one of the main things we do is get you locally, um, um, having your um, visibility going. And one of the best ways to do that is also uh, within local newspapers, right? Um, a, lo a lot of the places we syndicate your name to is uh, regional. So this is not just things coming from outside of the country. This is very um, high quality and we know it's working if you get on the, once you get on the, Google News. So about 70% of the time when you do a proper press release, um, they could they could be shown in Google News, right? For the main term, when you go search for like, um, you know, their brand name, obviously they should be coming up. But sometimes if you even search, you know, roofing Denver, Colorado, you can have them in a newspaper, news search for like a couple of days, um, um, you know, like be highlighted for like at least like, you know, two, three days. Sometimes they're there for a week because, you know, news part, it gets purged like more fast because it's news it's most latest shit is only shown there and when that does happen um like let's say after the press release report comes and you see them there it's a good time to kind of like you know um give a shout out like you know let them take a picture and send it to them it's like one of the first quick wins you can show them get it um it's good to have i would say i think i got overall pretty good responses when people see that right because after you onboard them they don't hear about any seo update for a while right other than little contacts you make with them so the some way the little contacts are the reporting you could say so this is a good way to show them like hey look we're in the google news it's a sign that google trusts us right now we just got this syndicated so you know we're at it whatever how you want to put it but that's not even part of this right this is just where i'm explaining to you guys uh, where this press release fits in in one of the first reports to get all right so as it comes here then i get into all right chris so just this basically brings us to an end of our campaign. These are the nine, I don't know, it's going six here. It's supposed to be like eight or nine. 
these are the main components of the campaign that work simultaneously. You just know that these are not, you know, in order. They're all happening pretty much. A lot of them are, you know, at the same time taking effect where different members of the team are executing this for your business on behalf. And we're always, um, you know, basically on call or like some kind of way to let them know, like, you know, this is that we're on it, right? Okay, just say that something, you know, however you want to word it. And then I basically transition to the last part, which is, and everything sounds good. We're going to be getting into actually our workflow. We like to be very transparent in terms of how we're going to report um, that whatever we're doing is working. How are you going to be able to access? And then I start off this part with like this. So of course, before we used to have a lot of um, uh, complicated reports, you know, seven to eight pages of like charts and graphs of all kinds of things of bounce rates. But now we keep it pretty simple because things are in reporting standpoint, a lot more simple than it used to be. Google has made some updates that allows us to see real time live exactly what's going on, right? So I kind of make that shift. Why? Because I don't want to be reporting myself some crazy shit. Okay. That's really why. Um, and I let them know like before we used to have that and that's like the old way to go about it. Nowadays, Google has helped us, which I'm going to show you guys what I show them is the, actually the GMB insights, which makes it a lot easier that you can check live anytime. Once you put that, they can check it live anytime they want, they become happy, right? They, 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 they wouldn't be like, oh, but I wanna see the you know, other seven reports. Live, anytime they want, they can see what's going on. That sounds good to them. That sounds like, yes, I know what my money is going, gonna be going at, right? So I tell them that, and how we do that is basically by Google Analytics, go my business dashboard, rank tracking tools, um, usually Surf Fox. I don't use anything else right now for, organic rank tracking and then call tracking tools. And then I, I let them know that this is where I put the most emphasis. So this is where the part I explained to them that, hey, look, one of the main things we, we, we recommend is call tracking. And I explained to them the benefits of it, you know, like just, I don't know, look up some normal benefits that call tracking companies sell us by. But basically what I tell them is that, you know, you can see how long the duration of the call, when, how many people called you, how many were good leads, if your reception is answering them properly and I explain to them a few things, sometimes I put a little humor in there and basically let them know that we're comfortable with being, you know, tracking calls. Like we're not like, you know, a lot of SEO companies are going to be scared to show that, right? Because they're afraid that they're not going to be generating calls or whatever. But once you let them know, like, you know, this is an option, it makes them start to be a bit more like they start to believe that you can do this, right? Because why else would you purposely put yourself in a position where they're going to be grading you from the calls if you can't get calls, right? So I let them know that, and um, not everybody takes it. Some of the businesses are already established in, they have like 1-800 numbers and stuff like that. They don't change their systems for me, but I still mention it regardless. And then I tell them about, um, I don't go into Google Analytics, but I do show them Google My Business. So what I show here is bring them here. Uh, this is like one of my you know first clients. Um, um, he has a, like a bagel store in Long Island. so. Don't spam this shit. <laughs> but but um, basically what I let them know is, um, hey, look, here you can see not only can you get, um, you know, can we see, we can, see, okay, let me do this properly, uh, how I show this to them. Hey, Chris, look, when you scroll down here in this insights, you can log in with your, you know, um, with your Gmail to this URL. And when you go to insights, you can see directly from Google how many people clicked this month right now. One or two people clicked on my client uh, for this past month when they're looking for um, restaurants or stuff. And usually it's going to be, you know, like a service that I show them um, normally, right? I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a service that I, that's in their, in their industry. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? Um, I've been eating a lot of weird shit on Sundays, guys, like. I ate like half a block of cheese today. I'm trying out like this new cooking thing where um, we're getting like dairy-free milk, dairy-free cheese, gluten-free stuff. We're in Trader Joe's. I'm actually ordering a service where they deliver like grass-fed beef um, recommended from Elliot Hulse. And I'm like stuffing myself, especially on Sundays, to test it out. If I can push the limit and stuff myself from something and I don't get coma and I don't feel like uh, like slow down and, and I don't feel like, you know, a little bit of heaviness where I fall asleep or something like that, then I know it's good. Then it passes my test, right? So <laughs> you're basically watching these videos in the middle of these tests that I'm doing, right? Like I ate a block of cheese with a, like a freaking a whole box of, like it's right there, like it's packet is finished of like, um I don't even know. These are, these are crackers, but you know, they're like sea salt, 
Anyways, where was I? Um, I let them know that, look, we can see what, what how many people clicked on you. And then I reiterate here a lot of times that, hey, look, one or two people visited his website directly from the maps. Now, Chris, remember, this is very valuable. Unlike even AdWords, which is considered to be one of the highest level of um, um, quality in leads, this is even higher quality than an AdWords click. Because a lot of times if you run AdWords, you know that you, know, you can get misclicks and people can click on who are not relevant. But if they scroll down and they check out your site and check out your reviews or whatever, and they click on your list and they go to visit your website, it's much more qualified, which is true in my experience. And I let them know that right in this place right here. Then I go into um, calls. Come on, sorry, done. okay, I'm almost done. Um, I let them know like, hey, look, they got 188 calls. And obviously if it's a roofer, it's usually not this high, but you know, basically show, if you have a client listing here, uh, guys, like, please do not, freak out about this part. Like if you don't have a client, um, show a normal listing that you have a lead gen. I would say that. If you don't even have a lead gen, you wanna get right at it, then show um, a, a, an empty listing. An empty listing, explain to them how it works. Still be confident, don't freak out over it. Like, you know, if you don't have a client yet and this is gonna be your first client, then just, you know, own it. Like, you know, all right, look, this is going to be, you know, this is an empty listing for now, but right here you can see the call section. It shows zero calls because it's an empty listing, but you can see Google's going to track and let you know on a every, you know, hour by hour uh, um, basis, it gets updated to what calls came in directly from the maps. So it's very um, live. It's very, um, you know, responsive, blah, blah, blah. Just ask, explain this part. When you go up, Chris, you can see not only what, um, you know, how, how many people clicked on you and called you, but you can also see what they typed in before they came to your business, what they typed in before they called you, right? So it really completes the loop. If you know your homeowners around you are searching for your service and you can see how many people are calling you and how, how many people are, um, you know, uh, going to your website, as long as these numbers are precise and they're going up, um, but not precise, I say, as, as long as these uh, searches are relevant to your business and these numbers are going up and higher and they're consistent, you, you, this is, it, th this is a good indication that a campaign is working well. All right. So I kind of like end that part there. <sighs> okay. Then I sometimes go into rank tracking tools, depending on where they're ranking. Like I said, sometimes some of the clients, like a good amount of the clients that I have right now, I'd say like at least five of them were ranking in the first page already. Right. Um, that guy who came in with like three sites, two of them are already in the first page for very competitive terms and um, he just needs to get on the maps, right? So if they're already ranking organic, I usually don't go over Surfbox, but if they're you know, nowhere to be found in the page or whatever, page five, six, I go over Surfbox, right? If you don't know Surfbox, it's basically a simple tool that lets you see charts. I don't have it open right now, but it lets you see the charts of a site of where they are right now compared to where they could be. Um, if you don't have it pulled out, then you know use another website so they can just see the interface of how the progress looks like, all right? And then let them know, this is all live. We can we, we connect you to it so you can get live updates depending on how you want to be updated. We don't want to bug you too much, throwing a little humor in there. You know, let them know that, you know, it's, 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 it's we're on it, right? Um, and I say that we don't want to bug you too much with it, you know, but basically we can give you any kind of alert you want, right? You know, anytime it's like something automated and free and it's easy for me to do, I will push that shit hard, right? It's, it's not me making like personal videos at least. All right, guys, wanted to actually, uh, open up a, a live one that I sent out before just to show you guys exactly how I um, do the formatting when I send out the emails. I know you guys like to like, you know, normally just see exactly how I do my shit. So, um, you know, after the sort Fox and stuff, you know, I just so like, all right, Chris, so now the time has come for disclose what you've been waiting for. And that is the cost of implementing everything I just talked about. So to do that, we're looking at a um, price of $3,000 per month. We usually have a setup fee of $2,000. You can put whatever if you don't want to say setup fee, you don't have to. I just let them know like, hey, we usually have a setup fee of $2,000. Let's say I would say it right now, right? Before I would say, you know, like $1,200 for the price it was or so, and then the setup fee was like $500, right? What are you going to say? But I let them know there's a setup usually, but if you were to take action before, and then I say end of the week, if it's like Monday, Tuesday, I say like end of the week. If it's like almost Friday, Saturday, I say end of next week. If it's like towards the end of the month, I say, but before uh, February starts, or right now, Jared saying before February starts, something like that. I don't put that much pressure. I don't say if you make the decision by like tomorrow or something like that. It sounds a little unnatural to me. Um, 
for, for an SEO sale a little bit. Maybe it's just me thinking it. But I let them know, like, if you were to take that action, we like to work with people who take, you know, fast decisions. And we see one of, the, you know, our best clients are, uh, tend to be the people who make the decision pretty quickly because they know what they want, they know what we're offering, and if everything makes sense, we are a good fit as of now. You have all the information, we showed you every single thing. And uh, basically, I just go about it in that demeanor. So then I ended, and that's the video basically. And hopefully, this makes sense. If you have any questions um, you know, about any of this, please reach out to me. I will be more than happy to elaborate further. Um, and and, and we'll, you know, basically, I leave it there. Thank you. For taking time to watch that and it was pretty long or you know i throw in a little bit of humor in the end sometimes sometimes i don't um but talk to you soon boom done that's the presentation all right now i opened up this um just to kind of show you guys the format right like i sent this some time ago uh, not too long actually uh, but but yeah so this is a format i sent out before and you can see how i if you prefer to watch a video instead of reading please click this link once you make this video and you upload it to YouTube, you can see that you can go through major parts and just take the link of that particular part. This makes it easy for them. If they wanna see a particular part later on, they can come back to those links, these links, and it'll take them there compared to, um, you know, compared to basically like, like watching the whole thing again for one section, right? So I let them know that. So they see some kind of order right in the email and I go through the entire thing. And basically that's it. This is pretty much it, guys. This is what I go through. This entire thing, as I just laid out exactly in this format, we try to get this video in about 15 minutes. Obviously, it's a lot longer this time because I'm explaining with it. But you want to get it about 15 to 20 minutes max. 20 max. Don't go over 20 minutes. Um, you you're even able to get 15, 20 minutes possibly because you know they're they they already trust you and they're interested in stuff and. Even with that, they might not always watch it, but I do know people watch this. I know this people, uh, for the people that I send this to, more people watch a 15, 20 minute video compared to watching a seven to 10 minute video on it. So I know this, um, you know, this is basically you're sending out to people who have gone through the qualification in your um, system before they deserve to get such a, you know, this amount of personal time, all right? Okay, so this is it guys, uh, thanks for watching um if you have any questions i sound like i'm making a video out again but yeah just comment below i know i haven't been answering them as much um but but you know i'll what i'll do is q and a's i'll probably just you know whatever you ask i will answer next sunday in a in a video format and then um i'm, I'm contemplating if i'm going to go back and type out all the you know like actually reply to the answers i'm probably going to do that um, I know a lot of people who ask the questions, they go away and basically they think that I never answered their question, but uh, I do it in the video, right? So I'll take some time now, actually just quickly go through kind of answering the questions, which I already answered in the previous video. But um, but yeah, so that's my preferred way to answer questions. So, um, you know, if you ask something, don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm just going to be making in the Sunday that's coming up, I'll make a Q&A video and answer it there. All right. Um, other than that, Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, pretty much now you're at a position from my sales side, you have the main parts of exactly what I use. So hope you put it to good use. Peace.